Hey people, it's Nice talking. Now this is a, a story I heard from several different sources, so I'd like to thank all of them. So this is from the Chicago Tribune, a healthy doctor, in brackets, or commas, doctor died two weeks after getting a COVID-19 vaccine. Two weeks after getting a first dose of a Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine, a 56-year-old doctor in South Florida died this week, possibly the nation's first death linked to the vaccine. Health officials from Florida and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention are investigating what role, if any, the vaccine played in the death of Dr. Gregory Michael, a Miami Beach obstetrician who his family says was in otherwise good health. Michael received his first dose of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine on December 18th at Mount Sinai Medical Center, according to a Facebook post from his wife, Heidi Nickelman. Three days later, small spots began to appear on his feet and hands, and he went to the emergency room at Mount Sinai, where he's worked in private practice for 15 years, according to his personal website. His blood count was far below normal ranges, according to Neckelman, and he was admitted to the intensive care unit. For two weeks, she said doctors tried to raise Michael's platelet count. Experts from all over the country were involved in his care, she wrote. No matter what they did, the platelet counts refused to go up. She wrote that Michael was conscious and energetic through the process, but just days before a last resort surgery, he suffered a stroke and died. Neckelman did not respond to calls and emails Thursday seeking comment. Darren Caprara, Director of Operations at the Miami-Dade Medical Examiner's Office, said Michael died sometime between the night of January 3rd and early morning of January 4th. Caprara completed an autopsy by January 5th, but it's too early to make any conclusions, he said. Michael's sam- uh, samples have been sent to experts at the CDC for testing. Caprara will also work with the Florida Department of Health. Nothing has been finalized, he said. Everything is still pending. Michael's death is still... Michael's Death is the first that Miami Dade Medical Examiner Office has investigated where a COVID 19 vaccine is suspected to have played a role, Caparo said. A spokesman for the CDC said the agency is investigating only one death in which a vaccine is suspected to have played a role. It would not confirm that Michael's death is the case under investigation. In a statement to South Florida Sun Sentinel, a spokesman for Pfizer said the company is aware of Michael's death and said it was a highly unusual clinical case. The spokesman said the company is investigating but does not believe there is any direct connection to the vaccine at this time. It's important to note that serious adverse events, including deaths that are unrelated to the vaccine, are unfortunately likely to occur at a similar rate as they would in the general population, he said. The CDC spokesman said investigators will evaluate the situation as more information becomes available and provide timely updates on what is known and any unnecessary action. He said that more than 5 million people have received COVID-19 vaccines in the U.S. and the CDC and Food and Drug Administration are monitoring data related to COVID vaccine safety. A report released by the CDC on Wednesday analyzed reactions to the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, or the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Of the nearly 2 million doses given out by December 23rd, only 4,393 adverse events were reported according to the report. A total of 175 cases were reviewed for the possibility of a severe allergic reaction that can be life-threatening and does occur rarely after vaccination. According to the report, 21 cases of the allergic reaction, including 17 in people with a documented history of allergies. The report concluded that a severe allergic reaction of the Pfizer vaccine appears to be rare, but cautioned that conclusion is being made based on limited data. Kapara said it is too early to tell what effect the vaccine may have had on Michael. One thing that seems to be clear, the doctor was in good health before his death. In her Facebook post, Nicholman said, Michael was very healthy and has spent the pandemic working tirelessly to deliver hundreds of babies. She said he was a COVID-19 vaccine advocate. Well, Neckelman suggested her husband's death has caused her to question the vaccine and its possible side effects. I believe the people should wear the side effects. She wrote, in this case, destroyed a beautiful life, a perfect family. She wrote, it's important that Michael's death be looked at closely. Do not let his death be in vain. Well, rest in peace to this doctor. Anyway, please comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave this article in the description, and I'm going to leave some more as well. Peace.